step in any putter refinishing project is to get all the scratches and little dings out of the metal itself. How I'm going to go about doing that is by using this bench grinder here with my wheel on the left which is a fine textured deburring wheel. I'll be sure and link to this product and give a few options on my site as well as where you can find a bench grinder. As you can see I've removed the guards from the bench grinder which is highly recommended because it enables you to work with the putter and get all sides of it much easier. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is get our safety glasses because sometimes when you're doing this it will fly little pieces of metal up in the air and you don't want that in your eye. So get the safety glasses on as well as your safety gloves because moving at such a high speed these things can you know take a take a good chunk of your skin off if you're not careful. Let's get it started. And the first thing that we need to do is actually get this little residue off of the um, the, the hosel itself. Um, so we're going to go just rotate it here. So now that we've got that off, it's going to be able to go back into the shaft a lot easier. So here's the fun part. This is where the putter starts to look pretty cool, especially if you've got an old one like this. I'm just making these slow passes. This usually will take a, quite a few minutes. Now that I have the nicks and dings out of most of this putter, I've got to get into these little crevices here. I don't know if you can see them, but uh, the wheel wouldn't actually fit into there, so <coughs> I have a solution for this. And this is just a half inch um, by quarter inch deburring wheel, pretty much the same texture and this is going to be able to get into these little crevices so let me go ahead and screw this on turn it on and you can see it's much easier to get in there with a smaller wheel here so now that we've got the putter looking pretty good it's nice and shiny as you might be able to see here. I know the lighting's not too great, but um, all the all the dings and scratches are out of it. And the next step, um, with these vintage putters at least, uh, there will be several other finishes you can do with other types of putters. But in this case, what we want to do is get this thing as shiny as we can. So the next step in doing this is to use our sisal wheel. Um, I'll I'll also be sure to link to this in the post um, so that you can find one that works for you. Um, this is going to be probably the most dramatic change that you'll see from this point forward. Um, what you are going to use is a compound. As you can see this is kind of black and I've already applied um, a black compound onto it and I will link to that as well. And what you're going to do is use it just the same as the deburring wheel and just hit all the spots on the putter. So the last step in polishing this putter head 
is going to be done using a cloth wheel. I'm not not necessarily sure if that's the correct term for it, but once again, I'll link to this um, on the website that I bought it from. As you can see, it's you know pretty pretty weak here, but once you get it spinning, it'll hold together. So let's get it going. And for this one, we're going to use the blue compound and just put it on just like you did the other one. And you'll see the, the wheels start to turn blue a little bit. And this one really doesn't require much time, although, like I said before, the more time you put into it, the better, better the putter is going to look. I've got a TP Mills putter here that is completely refinished and the paint fill has been cleaned up. So the last step, if you really want to make it look good, is to apply some semi-chrome polish with our with the polishing rag here. I'll show you how to do this. And with this, this particular putter that has all the dots on the back, you really have to be careful not to overdo this. You really don't need much of this polish to make it look shiny. So just put a little, little bit right there and just not much at all here. And I'm going to start on the, a bigger area, just kind of spread it out a little bit. Try not to get in the areas of the paint for this first part. And you just go ahead and lightly rub that all over. Like I said, you really don't need too much, maybe one or two small dabs for the entire putter. And after you apply it, it's not going to look very shiny, but we'll take a different part of the rag that is, that is clean and just wipe all of that off. Once you start wiping it off, it's going to get pretty shiny as long as you've polished it nicely. You can be pretty firm with this because the better you get this cleaned, the shinier it's going to be. But once again, if you don't let the paint fill dry adequately, this, this step right here is going to just rip all the paint fill out and you're going to have to redo everything. So you just you need to be careful on that.